you guys, I would like to share to you how I adjust the valve traffic clearance of a certain auxiliary engine. Well, I'm using this one. This is the dial gauge micrometer, guys. The reason why I'm using the dial gauge micrometer, guys, is that I need to be sure that this valve spindle top and this contact piece of the valve bridge or the valve tube should be in contact. How to determine that this one and this one is in contact? That's why I'm using this. But anyway, it is just an option, guys. You can either use or you cannot. So if you are wondering how to do it, guys, so please watch this. The engine must be in cold state before adjusting of the valve tappet clearance. Turn the flywheel to bring the cylinder for which the clearance is to be adjusted to assume the tappet center of the compression stroke. So the cylinder unit number 2 and 5 are now on the top dead center. The push rods of the unit to be adjusted must be free. So in this case, number 5 has not overlapped. So we will adjust the unit number 5. Then loosen the lock nuts of the rocker arms and the valve guard adjusting screw. Then loosen all the adjusting screws of the rocker arms and the valve guard. We will adjust first the exhaust side, then mount the dial gauge micrometer deep on the top of the valve rotator. Mount properly the dial gauge micrometer and ensure the accurate response of the readings. Then press down the center of the valve guard from above so that the clearance become zero under this condition. Turn the adjusting screw until the tile gauge micrometer indicates reading. Then return it back to where the tile gauge micrometer starts moving. Then do the same procedure for the other valve. Mount the dial gauge micrometer tip on the top of the valve rotator. Then turn the adjusting screw until the needle of the micrometer starts moving. And return it back to where the needle of the micrometer starts moving at this time 
we have confirmed that the valve spindle trap and the adjusting screw of the valve guard is in contact. Then tighten the lock nut of the adjusting screw of the valve guard. Then we have to confirm the contact by pressing down the adjusting screw of the rocker arm. So in this case the needle is moving that means that they are in contact. Then do the same procedure to the other valve. When the micrometer needle starts moving as the adjusting screw of the rocker arm is being pressed down, it is confirmed that they are in contact. Now we will adjust the clearance by filler gauge. From exhaust side, it is 0.6 millimeter. Put a filler gauge into a clearance between the rocker arm, adjusting screw, and the valve guard. And gradually tighten the rocker arm adjusting screw until the clearance become narrow enough to permit the filler gauge to be smoothly drawn out then lock the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut after having securely tightened the lock nut check the filler gauge can be smoothly drawn out This time, we will do the same procedure to the intake side. The only difference is that the clearance from intake side of this kind of engine is 0.4 millimeter.
with that guys I hope you learned something from this video guys if you have any questions any suggestions please feel free to comment down below if you enjoyed the video guys please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe see you in my next video guys thank you for watching stay safe everyone All right.